today we are sitting our way through life, starting very early in childhood. In the meantime, we have so many research about the sedentary behavior, a behavior which is inadequate to human's necessity. We should sit less, maximum six hours, or maximum three hours in an absolutely inactive position, and should interrupt sitting as often we can, and we should work on the quality of seat functions. The movement of the humans must be absorbed by 3D rocking mechanisms in a chair. And, of course, you have to stand and move around as often you can. When you are not passive, when you are active, you are stimulating your muscular system. Your muscular system is the important metabolic system. It's important for metabolic health and it is important for emotions and important for mental alertness. In your muscular system, you do have, for example, those what you can see here, sensors. They are similar to those sensors we are aware about, eyes, ears, nose, mouth, skin. And those sensors in your body, which are located in your muscular system, you have billions of them, they should be stimulated in a natural way while you are moving. And there is a direct pathway of those billions of sensors to your brain. And of course, when you carry out activity, and I want to invite you to such an activity, please stand up. And while you are standing, try to stand relaxed. And close your eyes and focus on your body. And I hope while you are standing, you can feel that your body is shifting around the body axis. Thank you. You can open your eyes. That means now when you focused on your body, you focused on those sensors, you felt that there is a shifting. Those so-called sensors in your body which are stimulating a lot of neurons. And when there are a lot of neurons stimulated, all those neurons which are stimulated are switching to each other. This is the secret of your brain. Neurons that fire together will wire together. When a child is born, there are around about 100 billion neurons. Some of them are already connected because the child in the belly room of the mother is active, but most of them are uh, switched to each other when children are organizing their growing up period in a way that they are always romping around, being active, climbing on trees, balancing on fallen tree trunks, jumping into puddles, jumping around, rocking and fidgeting on chairs. All those activities are necessary to build up such an infrastructure which is passing its sensible and critical period of developmental processes in the first 11, 12 years. The side effect of all your activities you carry out is that your brain is more alert. I mean, the brain is more alert and the brain is not in a, a fatigueness, then the brain will absorb information by the teacher better and you will be a better learner. Therefore, bring activity when you are using chairs. I will give you the example. Here we have a stool. Now, when I take place on this stool, and I do the same exercise like we have done before. I'm sitting down and I'm closing eyes. I really can feel, even when I try to sit relaxed, that there are some micromotoric activities around my body axis. But the brain is active. The brain is in an alert process. 
And the side effect is, in that moment, it supports your learning. It is never organized, it's never planned. It is a typical self-organization of a somatic intelligence to be in balance concerning body, mind, and soul. And by the way, today we are really complaining kids which have an ADHD problem. And those kids, due to genetics, they have one important main issue for that. They release less dopamine. Dopamine is a hormone. And dopamine is a hormone which is responsible for synaptic switching. And due to that, that they release less dopamine than the average, they have to be more active. Because dopamine is in a strong correlation to movement. The more you move, the more dopamine will be released and dopamine will be available for the synaptic switching to be attentive and concentrated. They are organizing their own problematic situation by physical behavior. Therefore, it's better to give, give them the option to carry out more movement than giving them drugs. Start to move today. Start to change your environmental equipment today that when you are working or when you are learning, your body is not rigid. Your body is part of learning. Your body is part of positive emotion. Therefore, we are heading for spaces in emotion.